What do you think of those chickens? You don't like them very much, do you? Okay, so like, first thing first, um, I would definitely say, if you're going to have chickens, make sure that you have your coop all set up and ready to go. Um, we did not. <laughs> we just, well, I say we, and it's the royal we, because it really was my husband, and just went to the store and got these chickens and brought them home. And I mean, like, you can do that. Absolutely. I mean, like, we did it. And now we have, you know, 11 chickens. But I have been discovering that it would have been easier to have the roost and the coop and just, like, everything all set up and in place instead of, you know, doing it yourself. And, mm, well, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like if we had taken some time and built what we were going to build um, ahead of time, then we would have um, had a chance to maybe correct some of the things that we don't like about the coop, you know, and just have it all sorted. Um, but instead, we now have, you know, a coop in the back, we have a tractor in the front, and um, we've ended up having basically two different flocks, and we're still having a hard time introducing them, although it's getting easier and better. But yeah, so I think uh, tip number one I would give is have your coop all ready to go before you bring any chickens home. Time to let the little girls out. This is our tractor. Um, basically just a box that we put together and we've put some tarps and stuff over top of it to give them shelter from the rain and whatnot. It's actually worked out really well. We've used it with both sets of chickens, um, the leggers, and now these four different breeds that we have here as well. And uh, yeah, it's been good to have this and um, we'll probably use it again if we get more chickens so that we can keep the newbies separated from um, the existing flock to make sure that nobody's sick before we integrate them. And uh, so yeah, tip number two, say hi to the camera. <laughs> tip number two is you're gonna need something to uh, be on the lookout for predators. This is our first winter with um, the chickens. Uh, we originally got chickens in May, so it was summertime and the yard was completely covered over with foliage and greenery and, you know, would have been pretty difficult for um, a hawk to swoop down and grab one of them um, as long as they could make it to the forest or the tree off area. Um, but now with everything being really sparse, the hawks are getting um, hungry, I guess, and more bold. Um, the one morning I came outside to the tractor here and when I came around the corner of the house, there was a hawk that had been like, I don't know, 10 feet from the tractor just sitting in the grass, you know, like he was at McDonald's looking at the menu, trying to figure out what he was going to get. And so my husband set up a Raspberry Pi motion sensored uh, camera, real simple thing. And we can actually look at the camera from our um, cell phones or our computer just to take a look outside um, to see what's happening. And the one morning there was actually a hawk on top of the tractor. So that was probably terrifying to, you know, wake up in the morning and there's somebody staring down at you while you're in your bed right so uh tip number two make sure that you have some way to be on the lookout for um predators because they get hungry enough they come in for your chickens 
Okay, this is live time reality chicken owning right now. Um, I just let the big girls out of the coop and I'm missing a chicken. Um, now, I am blind partially in the one side of my eye. Perhaps she ran off to the barn to lay an egg but I am missing a chicken. Um, I don't see any damage in the coop. Um, let me turn the camera. Okay, so like, I don't see any holes in the chicken wire or anything like that um the doors were closed let me go look around the back side yep that door's closed um i don't see any chicken remains all right, let's go look in the barn. This is disturbing. <laughs> Don't mind our barn door, it needs to be fixed. And a knock to let the squirrels or whatever know that I'm coming in. Um, we have this baby oh thank god there you are pd sorry to disturb your morning constitutional but i seriously did not see you <laughs> get out of the coop all right mystery solved people yep she's like get the hell out i'm trying to go to the bathroom what is wrong with you Okay, so uh, chicken owning tip number three, keep your eye on all your chickens <laughs> so you know where they are and you don't have a mini heart attack.